Hello there YouTube, this is Zoo Tycooner Steve, welcoming you to another episode of our Asian Garden Zoo, where today we'll be putting in a wonderful exhibit for some pangolins. Uh, definitely an animal I was not going to do a Asian Zoo without uh, putting them in here, and I think this corner of the zoo is going to be a nice little place to tuck them in. So the first thing we're going to do here is build up a nice little observing guest area, so that we uh, think here and here. I'm going to make it look like... Um, this part of the observing area is going to match the buildings that we've been making for ever since our entrance area, where we have the kind of not matching up slanted roofs, and then we're going to kind of extend that off into a sitting area, and um, then we're going to also build another building out here that's going to be the inside area for our pangolins, and uh, we'll give it a similar roof-like tile to tie everything in, and if I've done this right, we're going to come out with a wonderful exhibit, if I've done it right. Of course, you know, as per the standard rules, if any mistakes occur, it was merely to show you them so you don't make them in your own exudes. Okay, so we got the basic outline done here. Let's go ahead and fill in with the dirt. And these guys can use the tree. I want to put the tree right here. Uh, that was going to be used to hide the zookeeper uh, walk-in door. I've got this all planned out. I like actually drew this one out and stuff. So hopefully it will come out beautiful. We could fill in this back area here with some of these bamboos. Just really fill it in. Always leave plenty of room between the uh, the edge of your exhibit and the zoo wall if you're building it near the edge so you can foliage it up real good. Which is what we want to do here. We also want to leave enough room for a pathway for our zookeepers to get around the back. So put that up there to remember to put the sign in. I'm going to start putting down an invisible path I decided for this part of the zoo. I'm going to put down an invisible path and then just lay some nicely colored dirt underneath it so it kind of looks like you're walking in the middle of nowhere. And this is for our zookeepers. They can get both to the tanks for our koi pond and to our pangolin area. And we'll want to build up the foliage back here so that our guests can't see our zookeepers walking around behind the pangolins. Filling that in nice. And then for a nice decoration set, for a nice decoration sake, we're going to go ahead and put these metal railings in. I don't want to put in an actual fence. I'm going to put in these kind of thinner railings. I love these guys. I should use these more often. I don't know why I don't. Um, if you know why I don't use them more often, comment in the comments. See if you can analyze my psychology, because someone's got to. Okay. And we want, I think I want the tropical savanna. Yes, like that. Tropical Savannah, I find, has the most wonderful dirt. It's kind of got that red clay look. All right. We'll go ahead and fill this in the area here. Uh, where are these? There we go. Throw down these Chinese snow bushes. I've been told that's what that actually is. Apparently it's written in German in the game, but it's Chinese snow bushes. I forget who told me that, but many thanks to whoever did, because that was annoying me. All right. And now we're going to... I'm going to put a little extra into the design here. We're going to put this arches in. Let me alter the path so it looks more like it's leading directly into that arch, not anywhere. And then we're going to use these posts. Kind of make a faux wall here. One, two, three, one, two, three. You know what we, I'm going to put this down just for measuring for a moment. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I'll delete it. There we go. And I'm going to alternate it so it's uh, one without a fencing, one with a fencing, like so. You'll see in the end. My brilliance will come out if you don't understand already. Uh, if you don't understand already, it's probably because I'm doing a really poor job of explaining it. But hopefully the end product will speak for itself. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and make that roofing here. This is also going to have the advantage of leaving us kind of like a little shaded area that's going to encourage the pangolins to come down and rest up against the glass so people can see them well. And they get a nice cool off in the middle of the day. They do. And down. Down. Get rid of that. And then we should just be able to fill in the rest with the uh, edgings. If I did this correctly in my mind. Like so. Oh, perfection. Perfection. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yes, that's exactly how we wanted it to look. No, that doesn't look perfect, actually. Uh, we'll fix it later. For now, let's put down more of these guys. Um, there. Get you right on the edge. Come on. And then one, two, three, one, two. The reason I'm counting three, if you look at the uh, 
the fencing. It looks like there are boards there, and I'm putting them three boards across. That way I get a nice even spacing. So I'm just kind of using that to space things out. And for the corner here, I'm going to put in an actual pillar from that building set, just to make it look a little sturdier. And just get you tucked into the corner. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and take the time here and put the fencing in. Like so. Do I want the fencing like that? Um, let's switch to the invisible path without the railing on it. And I think I want to get rid of these fencing in this area, at least. We'll go ahead and just kind of use our uh, foliage to suggest where people should go. Okay. Uh, you know what we could do if I was a real masochist? I'll have to think about this for a second. We could put down those little stones on the pathway. Ugh. I think that sign, that uh, that free-floating board, I was planning on putting a sign there that says pangolins. I think that might actually be blocking the view a little too much. So we might have to edit it. I don't know. We'll give it that a thought. Give that a thought, too. Oh, come on. Stop fighting me. I guess it doesn't really super matter, because that's where the zookeepers are going. Um, da, 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 Make this into, like, a circle here, and then feed the pathway off of that circle. Like that. Yes. It's all, I love it when a plan comes together. Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and do the little stones, because I hate myself. Little stones, little stones in the cinnamon tree. Bonus points to anyone who knows what song I'm parodying. Don't worry, it's not pop culture. Don't feel bad for not knowing it. Do do do. Little stones, little stones. Do you weep for me? You should weep for me because it's going to cause me a lot of headache to do this throughout the entire area. Uh, leaving the path and the stones open so our zookeepers have a way to exit. And. Let's see if I have. I, I think I have a sign that says zookeepers only. That's what I'm looking for right now. Try to discourage guests from wandering off the path. Children must may be scared. Well, they should be. Because they'll get a whooping if they leave the path. That's what children should be scared of. I don't see that sign here, though. No, no. Okay, well, maybe I'll find it later as I go through. Let's go ahead and put some foliage in around this board. So it doesn't look like it's just sticking out in the middle of nowhere. More undergrowth, make it look like it's grown in. And fill in that area. I don't want people looking through. Seeing where the zookeepers walk. Perfect. It's completely a blinded area. Um, let's go ahead and take some of these benches. I actually did some pre-prep here. You can see I put some signage and uh, some benches out here. So I didn't have to look through them and make you watch while I scrolled through everything. Okay, let's go ahead and try to put up the sign for the pangolins. I hope this doesn't make any issues. Well, we'll see. Okay. Time to place some letters. Letters. We've got letters. We've got stacks and stacks of letters. No, it's not even letting me put the P till there. Am I going to be able to fill the word pangolin? I'm not going to try for the S. You kidding me? Pluralizing it? That's a mad dream. A mad dream, you hear me? A mad dream. Pangolins. Why don't we just call them Chinese armadillos? I mean, come on. Who, who are we trying to fool here? They even roll up and do that little, like, curl up in a ball and die thing. I can fit the S now that I've had to extend it to fit it. I was, of course, worried that it was too much before. I bet you can... I bet, I bet, okay, let's switch to... I'll drop this down. Let's switch to zookeeper mode. and Oh, yeah, it blocks way too much. You can't see my fancy roof thing I did. I want people to see the fancy roof thing. Okay. I'm going to have to pick a different kind of signage. You know what we're going to do? Is we're going to put the sign right on top of the building here. We can do this. We have the power. So I'm going to put those there. And then I'm also going to... Go ahead and put some railings across here and give it the eaves so it has the same top as the rest of the building. And blend it a little more, hopefully. All right. Good news is we can totally pluralize this now. Go ahead and put down that S. 
Mm-hmm. Pang. Go. I don't like how the G hangs out over there, but maybe that's the thing we do. You know what we could do? Is uh, switch to the black letters, because black letters are uppercase, and then the G won't hang over. <sighs> problem solved. That's what I am. I'm a problem solver. I shouldn't be Zoo Tycoon or Steve, I should be Problem Solver Steve. Okay, also, think that there's a little, like, optical thing that's happening. I want to make these green, because it doesn't quite look right. So let's go ahead and, uh, where is he? Green, there. there. And, yeah, that better be. And I think the reason, yeah, I think it's going to work good. So let's go ahead and start making the area good for... Oh, I've completely forgotten to do anything with their... I thought it was almost done, and I realized I've completely forgotten to do anything with the inside area for the pangolins. Uh, so first, let's go ahead and build their little climbing thing. They are an arboreal species. They love to climb, and we will make sure they have plenty of jungle gems to climb upon. Um, these are cat's poles. You can definitely find these on the Zootaiku 2 download wiki. I think they're in the Hendrix signature which uh, might sound strange if you're not used to the Zoo Tycoon 2. Uh, basically, if you go to the uh, Roundtree forums, there's a user there called Hendrix, and in his signature uh, for all of his posts is a link to a bunch of hard-to-find files, and I believe Cat's polls are in there. So um, you can find it by going to the Zoo Tycoon download wiki, which there's a link in the description, but if you want to uh, go to the Roundtree and search Hendrix, uh, any of his posts, just look in his signature, and you'll find a whole bunch of good grab bag things. Uh, I love Ginkgo Biloba, I don't know if those are going to work there. Yeah, let's get rid of them there and see if we can't use them later. Just going to build up this area with these ferns. It's a nice foresty feel. And I always try to put like these little undergrowths, uh, build them up on the actual fences, because if they were a, uh, a real plant, uh, like the seeds would fall off, the little nuts and seeds or whatever it's planted would fall off. They get caught in the net and fall down. Or they get caught in the net. They would get caught on the fence and fall down, and that would cause them to uh, grow right against the fence. So that would be how things would occur naturally. So if you want your uh, growth to look natural in your zoo, you build along the fence and have kind of your grasses going on either side of it, not perfectly trimmed. Okay. I think that's good. Just kind of, uh, you might have noticed I put the undergrowth there on either side of the pathway for our zookeepers just to make it look like they're trotting it down. I can put in a little fountain here, I think. And we'll build it up a bit with these extra rocks. I'm gonna build it up with these because they rock. Nailed it. Thank you. That's, I should leave now. So if you've got a great audience, be sure to tip your waitress. Uh, nope, we can't leave now. Still got more to do. You guys would not be happy with a half-completed pangolin exhibit. Uh, so putting down, uh, getting rid of the, uh, getting rid of the see-through fence there for the straight boards, just so you can't see the exhibit completely from the walkway. You gotta go inside, actually go through the observing area. Uh, put these fences down here real quick so we can guide our path. Do do do. Very good. And this is a donation box, but I'm just putting it down here for scenery because we have the Chinese donation box and it fits in so well with what we're trying to achieve, aesthetically speaking. More little Rockies. Okay, I've once again forgot to do anything with this inside area, so let's go ahead and build this up for our pangolins. And we're going to want this area to be tall enough that they can do some climbing, but not tall enough that, you know, the zookeepers can't get to them. So we'll go ahead and put in some doorways there. And we're going to want to put in a tank wall here so we can control their it going in and going out if we need to. And we'll go ahead and use the cat's logs again to make a little faux climbing area for them. Uh, nope, that's going to hit the edge. We'll see if we can't put one down this way. This way? No. That way? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's fine. Okay, quick edit there. It was a total crash of the machine. I hope you didn't notice the flash. If you did, I apologize, but it looks like everything saved fine, so... Hey! And, oops, I need to scooch this over. Scooch the hollow tree over, and I'm gonna put some hay under it so it looks more comfy. 
And then, like I said, we're going to actually use that hollow tree as a way of hiding the zookeeper entrance to the main exit. Let's go ahead and put in some walls on the back side here. Insane. Oh my gosh. Okay. I just for a moment, I wasn't sure I hit record, and I thought I was going to have to record the voiceover all over again, but uh, fortunately for you, I did not make that mistake. So I didn't have to cry, give up, and come back to this two days later once I've rebuilt my strength. Do, 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 do. And get these guys at the right height. There we go. Too high. Putting down this white wall on top so it'll look like a nice um, sterile environment from the inside. And then, of course, we're going to build the sort of extra roof, which is not on fire, fortunately. Although sometimes the roof is on fire, and we still don't need no water. You know why. It's a G-rated show. I can't tell you why, but you know why. Alright, go across here. And same thing. More or less. Just wanna just wanna get a straight one across, guys. Come on. Come on guys. There we go. No. And just chop away the excess here. Did that thing where I turned the uh, actual egress point for our pangolins so it's facing away from the observation area. It's something I'm trying to more consciously do to better hide my uh, both my zookeeper and my animal entries. Oh, bless you! I'm sorry, guys. The cat just sneezed, and it was much bigger than his little body. It's okay. You can go back to sleep now, Stark. He scared himself awake with a sneeze. Such is the life of the cat. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and throw some bamboos back down here. Um, more and more and more. Thicken it up. And make that a mesh fence so I don't have to move the tree. Okay, that's looking pretty good. That's looking good, too. Um, yeah, you can see the you can see the uneven roof thing that we're trying to build throughout the area. Let's change this to a tropical. Hey, that looks pretty good. I didn't like the look of that fountain, so making it a little pond and with a little fountain in here looks pretty good. Actually, that water looks pretty clear here. Maybe that's the water I should switch the koi pond to. Um, thinking about that in the future. Let's go ahead and put in a gateway for our zookeepers, so they kind of know where to go. What should I put there? No, that's not enough. Um, just a nice low fence like that. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then let's throw down some of these snow bushes. Yes, yes, very good. Fill in that area. Very good. Okay. All right, I think we're done with our building, so let's go ahead and go through a walkthrough. As usual, we're starting in our ticket booth area, which I'm still pretty proud of. Still looks pretty good almost looks like I know what I'm doing in this game, which, as we all know, is not entirely true. Here's our tapirs. Uh, still pretty happy. Still pretty happy with that exhibit, too, i got to be honest. In fact, I've been happy with how everything's turned out so far. This might be my favorite zoo up to this point. Uh, walking over our koi ponds and our uh, peafowls, and going to this little branching area, we'll make that hard left turn, and... Hmm, the fountain, or the waterfall's looking pretty good. Okay. Uh, so that's that bench area we set up earlier, and that little fountain, which turned out great. Yeah, you can read the pangolin signage from a distance, always a good sign. Uh, yeah, and you can't tell where our zookeeper thing really begins unless you're right at the fence, so that's good. And we'll go into our observation, and oh, there, right there, is our first pangolin. Um, oh, he's not moving much. Okay, there he goes. He must have just woke up. I've tested these guys before, so I know they work. And um, they too can be found at that Zoo Tycoon 2 download wiki if you need your own pangolins. In fact, I think they come from the Wilds China, which is also in the um, Hendrix signature. So they're all going to be in the same area. Uh, you see one in the distance there. Obviously, they're not climbing on their uh, on the uh, cat's poles uh, because it doesn't quite work that way, unfortunately. But it does make the exhibit look so much better. So I'm always happy to put them down. Uh, and I like our little uh, little observation area. It's nice, it's open, it's breezy. It feels like a thing. Um, okay, let's go ahead and take a look at it from the zookeeper's point of view. I'm going to open up this little gateway here. And yeah, you can see it if you're looking directly down it from the guest area, but uh, that doesn't super bother me. Uh, it doesn't look like our tank's full, so our koi's aren't poisoning the pond quite too bad. We'll go back here following the railings. 
And uh, I think I cut out the part here where I tell oops, I need to move some leaves out of there. Uh, but I think I cut out the part where I put up all the wallpaper and the stuff in here. I figured you'd seen that enough. So just to shorten the video a little bit, oh, pangolin sleeping on the inside. Oh, he's happy at least. That's what really counts. Uh, we could of course go into the actual pangolin cage here. Give him a little scrubby scrub and a pat on the back. There we go. He's eating some uh, rotten food, rotten meat, and some water, which I'm sure is a great pangolin diet. Actually, I'm pretty sure they're omnivores. Put down those um, those chairs and that uh, table, which are actually from the dining set, but I think they look pretty good there. It was a thinner hallway, so I didn't want to put down the big white table. Um, going around here. There's another one. Where's the... Well, there should be one more. Oh, the other one's actually climbed up and is getting food from there, so good. They're at least interacting with those things perfectly. So if you wanted to see a pangolin climb, you totally got to see that today at the zoo. And it doesn't look like anybody's gone inside the tree to take a nap yet, but that's okay. It's a very inviting tree. I'm sure they'll get to that eventually. I uh, know he's climbed up on the little fun thing. Oh, but he's drinking. So yeah, this looks like a completely functional completely wonderful uh, little exhibit. And yeah, I am happy with how that came out. Uh, very happy, as a matter of fact. It filled in that space really well. Uh, so well that I'm not sure I left enough space for the next exhibit, but we'll figure that out when we come to it. Uh, anyway, I do hope that you like this video. I hope that it inspires you in your Urzu Tycooning pursuits. If you did like this video, please be sure to click on the like button. And then uh, if you want to keep up with this series or any of the other series on my channel, just click the subscribe. Oh, we've still got a magical koi hiding somewhere inside there. I could not find that koi. I'm going to have to snap my fingers and delete half the koi from the universe. But anyway, um, if you want to keep up with this, also hit that bell button. It tells me that they does something when it hits the bell button. I'm not sure what. I think you get notifications. That's what I've been told. Not sure it works. Uh, <laughs> anyway, other than that, uh, I want to thank you for spending some time with me today. And this is Zootag Steve saying goodbye.